If you're only meh about Star Wars, there's still time to click out of this video. Hint, hint. Hello, it's contributing editor Maria Christina, and I want to tell you about some of the stuff that I read this week, or rather listened to. I don't usually do a lot of audiobooks just because one of the many pleasures I get out of reading is holding a pulped dead tree in my hands. No, I just like that weight. I like flipping the pages, really being able to see at a glance how far I've gotten in a book. I'm old school. I still write in cursive. But this week I fell a little behind with things and I wanted to kick my multitasking up a notch. So I downloaded some audiobooks from my library. Support your local libraries. And the books that I chose were Darth Plagueis, and Ahsoka. Lucasfilm was bought by Disney in 2012. In 2015, Disney decided that everything in the Star Wars Expanded Universe was now Star Wars Legends. You can still read them. They still reserve the right to take some of those stories as inspiration for anything they produce in the future, but uh, they're not canon anymore. That includes Darth Plagueis, but Ahsoka came out after this retconning of sorts. But both of them take place before episode four. Now I don't, I don't do well with prequels. Like they just mess with my head in a way that I do not appreciate. The first Pixar film I saw was Toy Story 2, so when I did get around to seeing Toy Story 1 and I discovered that Buzz and Woody weren't best friends, it was... <clears throat> anyway, I don't like change. Prequels kind of mess me up the same way, but I chose these two books which are essentially prequels. Darth Plagueis is a prequel to the prequel trilogy and Ahsoka takes place in between episode 3 and episode 4. I chose them because I've been on a little bit of a Star Wars binge. That started because I just I just really wanted to see some Latinos in sci-fi. So I went back and rewatched every time Jimmy Smits was on screen as Leia's adoptive father. I really, really enjoyed these and I'm glad that I ended up doing both of them. With Ahsoka, you get a whole lot of strong female protagonist action, lots of fight scenes, lots of battles, and she's a really well-developed character. I've seen a little bit of Clone Wars, which features her, but this showed her growing up and maturing in many ways. She had her self-doubts, but she was still committed to doing right by her friends, right by just any innocent person who needed help. And then Darth Plagueis, that was way more of a political intrigue kind of book, which spans a great deal of galactic history. It starts, well, this really isn't any kind of spoiler, and even if it were, Star Wars Legends! There's a prologue that begins when Darth Sidious has just murdered his master Darth Plagueis and then it goes back, starts proper with Darth Plagueis right before he murders his master. And then you see all of these behind the scenes stuff. You see how corporations got politics all messed up corrupt, how uh, provincial planets were screwed over. It's actually very, very relevant. But you get to watch these pieces fall into place and I guess that's the thing that people really enjoy about prequels. These, these books were also satisfying because they were just 
well written and that's not necessarily something you get in the Star Wars films. And what was also cool about reading these with my ears and not on paper was that you had all the lightsaber facts and all the pew, 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 of the blasters and the John Williams music. Really makes it feel like Star Wars. So if you haven't checked either one of those out, you should. If you think there's anything else I should be listening to on audiobook while I'm doing my chores around the house, if you think there's something that is actually better on audiobook than it is on paper, let me know. And if you can convince me that prequels aren't all that traumatic, please have at it in the comments. Thanks for watching. I don't like sand. You're breaking my heart. You were the chosen one. You were supposed to bring balance to the force. Honey, I've loved you forever. Ever since I last saw you, I haven't been able to stop thinking about you. Um, that's really weird. Not something you want to share with somebody when you've just met them again after a decade. But I love you. Yeah, that's creepy. But I love you so much. I can't stop thinking about you. I'm tortured by how much I love you. Okay, great. Can you leave me alone now? No, because I love you. And we are meant to be together. Okay, can you just stop sexually harassing this senator? 